Am I good? Yeah. Well, viewer, as you could see in the last video, I didn't introduce my guests. You know, I went to the airport to pick up someone. So can you introduce yourself, please? Okay. My name is Raymond, and I'm from Ghana. What are you here for? I'm here to study in Brazil, Sao Luis. You are here to study what course? Nursing. So I'll be doing my Portuguese studies in IFMA, and then my main course, the nursing in UFMA. Okay, you will study for how long? That's the language. So I'll study for eight months. Eight months. Is this sufficient for you to acquire a new language? I hope so. All right. So what do you think about Portuguese? So for my first time, so... Do you think it's a very difficult language? Have you heard some words in Portuguese language? Okay. Um, for my first time, I haven't heard of Portuguese okay. until I had the opportunity to come and study in Brazil. There I did my own research and then tried to get familiar with the, the Portuguese language. Wow, that's nice. So talking about uh, the opportunity to come to study here in Brazil, how did you come across that? Did someone tell you or, you know, tell us about it? <sighs> wow, that's great. So I was in my second year in Ghana yeah. at the University of Ghana, one of the greatest universities in Ghana. I was studying economics, geography and philosophy back in Ghana at the University of Ghana, Lagos. All right, you were in what year? I was in my second year. So you abandoned everything? <laughs> that was a difficult decision to make though, but then I finally concluded and had a reason to defer. Okay, uh, but uh, how did you come to know about the program? And I was staying with my family, including my auntie. So one time during a vacation, I came home and then visited my auntie who lives in the same neighborhood with me. So she asked my mom to come and call me whilst I was at home. So when I came and then she asked me this question, would you like to study abroad if you get the opportunity? When I heard that, it sounded good to me. I was very happy. You know, I was thinking, um, at least she's gotten a great opportunity for me to study either in US or Canada or any other great country. So I responded with a smile. I was like, yeah, I'm very, I'll be happy. Okay. Has the relative uh, had an experience of traveling here to Brazil? No, please. Then let's talk about your coming. I know it's a little bit difficult to leave your family. Is it your first time of leaving your family? <sighs> sure. It's my first time of leaving my family to travel to a long distance, specifically traveling abroad. Traveling abroad. What about in Ghana? Did you have any experience of maybe leaving home? Sure. I've had so many, several experiences of me leaving home to a far place where my parents are not So it means you don't feel the weight of living here in Brazil? I'm sure I don't, I don't. But maybe later, I don't know though. Of course, later you might long for home. It's, it's, it's normal, okay? Uh, so tell, tell us about the day you took off. What route did you take to come to Brazil? So, first of all, I took off on the 14th of February, 2024. And then um, it was by Qatar Airways. So we booked the waiting ticket before the 14th. And then when the final day arrived, I went to the airport for them to check me in by observing my documents and other stuff, including my passport, whether they are genuine or not. So... So are they genuine? Sure, they were. Even though... <laughs> <laughs> even though... Um, I thought they were a little suspect, okay. you know. I think maybe to them, for the first time, somebody leaving Ghana yeah. to a long place to go and study. So they had to um, observe my documents well, which yeah. they found no problem with. And I was happy for that, okay. sure. So what were the connections that you did to come to San Luis? Okay, so I booked a, a flight with Qatar Airways from, yeah. from Ghana to Qatar, the capital city of Do of Qatar. So we took off on the 14th from Ghana to Doha. 
How many hours? Ha, huh. that was eight hours. Sure, it was eight hours and then I think 30 minutes or 25 minutes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And then you traveled from Doha to? Then from Doha to Sao Paulo, okay. which is 15 hours, 10 minutes wow. by flight. That's a long journey. Sure, it was a very long journey for me as it's been my first time. Okay, you landed in Sao Paulo, and then how was the first impression? What came to your mind when you landed in Sao Paulo? Okay, so uh, for it to be my first time traveling abroad and by flight, it started when I first landed in Qatar. So it was great, it was great. I've lived in Ghana since I was born. I've not traveled abroad before. So when I landed in Qatar, specifically Doha, I had a great feeling. It was great, you know, leaving my country, Ghana, to a different place, looking at um, the environment, the infrastructures, mm -hmm. and the people around. I felt good. Okay. I felt very, very good. And then moves on from Qatar to Sao Paulo. It was extremely something. Yeah. When I landed at the airport of Sao Paulo, I was impressed at most of the things I saw, especially the people being white. And then... Um, the airport was so nice, you know. I've been to Ghana airport before, but then when I went to, I landed in Sao Paulo, it was a great feeling. So there is a curiosity here. Were you expecting to see blacks? I was expecting to see, but not all that much. Okay, all right, all right. That was the first experience. What do you used to think about Brazil? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Sure, I had misconceptions about Brazil because what most of us used to see on the television about brazil was a slum area with no beautiful infrastructures no beautiful places just a slum area overcrowded people bad drainage areas and a whole lot of stuffs and then i also heard that brazil was one of the most dangerous country in the world that you could be snatched by anyone if you are not careful all right okay so uh since you are just few days here you might not you might take your time you know to do the judgments but uh i, I bet from the first impressions that you've had it should have been maybe positive right sure it is all right that's nice and uh when you came to san luis what did you feel that uh how can i say connected you or is similar to what you see in Ghana? Did you see any similarities? Okay, sure. For the few days I've been here, I've seen a um, few similarities as compared to the life in Ghana. Um, first of all, I'll mention the food. Food in Sao Paulo, I've gotten an opportunity to taste a um, few of their foods, which is rice with and then with um, their meat. It was a great feeling though. I felt, I felt, you know, I've been at home, sure. Because back in Ghana, one of my favorite food was rice. And, and people eat rice in, in Ghana. So when I came here to see rice, I was happy. I was happy, sure. Were, were you expecting to see something different? Sure, I was expecting to see something different. What I had in mind was um, concerning the same food, I was thinking, I wouldn't be able to taste their food. I wouldn't like it. It might not be delicious to me. <laughs> yeah. And also, it wouldn't have the kind of flavor I'm used to in Ghana. And then also, I, I was thinking with a perception that in Brazil or San Luis specifically, mm -hmm. they, they have more sugary foods. And then they don't have pepper in most of their food. And then they are into sweet potato and a lot of meat. So since I came here, I've realized that um, most of their food have a little um, similarities as compared to Kenyan foods or our local food to be precise. All right. So you talked about Ghana. Let's go back to Ghana. Then Ghana, what languages did you speak? So Ghana has a whole lot of local languages. Okay, you personally, how many languages do you speak? I speak Cree and I speak English. 
I speak three languages. Yes. So now you are about to acquire the fourth language. Sure. That's nice. Sure. And in Ghana, how many languages do you have? In Ghana, we have a lot of language. But then to be sure... All right, Joseph is answering over there. He's behind the camera. Around 90. That's nice. That's a huge number, right? And you are from which region of Ghana? Okay. Um, I'm from both the central region and the Volta region of Ghana, but I live in the greater Accra region. You grew up in the Accra region? Yes, please. Of Ghana. That's the capital? Yes, please. It is. All right. That's nice. And there, what language is predominantly spoken? It's the language of Accra is, is, is Ghana, because the Accra, the Accra region is occupied with Ghan people especially. But then other people with different dialects have come to live there. So when you come to Accra, Ghana, you would find a whole lot of diverse language in the region of Accra. But the mostly spoken is Ghan. Ghan. Can you speak something in Ghan? Sure. I've lived there for a long so I think I can mention a few words in Ghan. Yeah, maybe a sentence like um what? Te o ten. How are you? Te o ten. What? Te o ten. Which means how are you? Te o ten. Yojoba. Te o ten. Yojoba. What is yojoba? You get it. Don't I'll be teaching you some more. All right. So a te o ten. Te o okay. What? Which means how are you? How are you? Or how are you doing? All right. That's nice. And te joba. The response. That's the answer. That's how you answer it. Tejoba. You can say, which means I'm good, I'm fine. Good. Okay. Or to, to sound more polite, you can say, oh, fine. Oh, oh, fine oh, which means, please, I'm doing well. All right. That's nice. That's sure. Nice. Sure. That's great. So let's talk about uh, what you will study here in San Luis. You will study nursing, right? Yes. And do you have a notion of how nursing is? Sure. Um, when... I completed senior high school. I started studying some of the courses I would like to pursue at a tertiary level, which is the university level, when I get the opportunity. And I think the second of the second choice among the courses I chose was nursing. So from Ghana, you you already had the interest in studying nursing. Sure, I had a passion in studying nursing. Wow, that's nice. So uh, I wish you all the best. Okay. Thank you so much. Have you visited the university? I've not, but then I've passed by. I've passed by. You've passed by. What about IFMA? Have you visited IFMA? The same. I've not been there, but I've passed by. But I'm sure I'll, I'll visit there one of these days, I hope. So when will you resume? That's on the 10th of March. We will start um, the Portuguese studies on the 10th of March. 10th of March. So uh, after the Portuguese, what will be the next step? So after the Portuguese, it will depends on me. So after the Portuguese, I'll be writing an examination which will prove whether I'm qualified to pursue my course, which is nursing, at Wufma. All right, that's nice. I wish you all the best. Now, there is one last thing I would want to ask you. Uh, in case someone wants to come and study from Ghana, can you give us just a brief insight? Yeah. Okay. It's an interesting process, not difficult or not tough. So what I did on my side was that um, we provided certain documents through the Ministry of Education Ghana to the Embassy of Brazil in Ghana. So the documents are a transcript from senior high school, a certificate from senior high school, a testimonial from senior high school. I needed to provide a medical report, a police statement, a yellow fever card, my birth certificate, and then a passport. So with all these documents, I submitted it through the Ministry of Education to the Brazilian Embassy. There, I was called upon for an interview and then for a filling of form. After that, I was sent a message that I've been picked, I've been qualified to pursue the Brazilian scholarship, which is the PEC G. So after I received the message, I then went back to the, I was called upon to the embassy of Brazil in Ghana to 
fill certain forms again, personal information, and then sponsorship information. So I needed to go there with a the sponsor. I needed a sponsor, and then my auntie was my sponsor. For almost about three times, three consecutive times, we went to the embassy. And then after that, we were asked to go back and then we would hear from them. After that, we went back to pick um, schools from which we would like to study. So we picked about three schools and then any other school of our choice that we would like to pursue our course at if any of the three we choose fail us. And that if we would accept any other school that is given to us, if we, we, we fail to get the choice of our school. So after filling that form, we waited for almost about like three months. There we were called upon that we've been picked, or specifically I've been picked to study in Sao Luis in Brazil. And if I would like to accept that offer or not. And this message was sent to me personally through my emails from the Brazil embassy. So after accepting that, um, I was sent an email from the school which I was paid, which is IFMA, where I'll be starting my Portuguese language. So the email I was sent was to provide certain information for pre-matriculation, which, which in Ghana is matriculation. So for the form where they, they ask certain questions like, if I know anyone in Brazil, when am I coming? By which means am I coming to Brazil? How prepared I am, etc. So after all this process, I send them a proof of me coming to Brazil, which is um, my student visa and then my ticket. But before then, we went to the embassy for my student visa after the whole process was done. So I provided my student visa, my flight ticket to my school, which I was chosen in San Luis. After that, they sent me a message awaiting for my arrival in San Luis. And here I am in San Luis. Uh, how long did it take you to round up the whole process? So it took me about seven to eight months. Seven to eight months. Wow, that's good time. Right. And uh, you also talked about choices, okay. right? You talked about first, second, and third, yes, please. and a supplementary. Were you able to get your choice, or you, what, what happened? So for me, personally, I couldn't get my choice. But then for the supplementary... That okay, what were your choices? For my choices, I think we were given um, a whole list of courses. University. And then the what, what, what were the three universities you chose at the inception? Um, I think I chose universities in cities like Sao Paulo, Spiritus Santos, and then Rio de Janeiro. You wanted to go to the Sudeste, that's the southeastern part sure, of Brazil. Sure. You know, that's the commercial center of Brazil. All right, that's interesting. But you were thrown to San Luis. Sure, yeah. All right, I think you were lucky enough to come to the city. That happened to me when I was trying to come in 2011. Okay. I remember choosing Brasilia, Goiás, and Amazonas. So I was called by the embassy. They gave me the same information. So uh, let's round up with an advice. What would you advise someone who wants to come to study here in Brazil? So my advice to anyone, especially from Africa, Ghana, who wants to come and study in Brazil, that Brazil is a land of opportunity. So despite what we hear about Brazil, I would encourage you to take a bold step and then try your hands in coming to study in Brazil. You would love it. That's nice. So you've heard it from Theophilus? No. <laughs> Theophilus. So you've heard it from Raymond. All right, if you enjoyed this chat, you can hit the like button. So see you in the next video.